Hi, welcome back to Timbermates. We are Brandon and Karina, and we're fulfilling a dream of building our very own ICF home. In this video, we set up and pour our footings. We start our basement ICF walls. And if you don't know what ICF is, stay tuned because we're going to explain a little bit more about it. Hope you enjoy the video. As many of you know, and the reason that we call ourselves the Timbermates is that we have a tree business here in the town that we live in. But before Brandon started a tree business, he had his own business for many years as a general contractor. In fact, he's already built a few ICF homes in his day. As for me, I worked a few years as a stone masonry laborer, and so after that I went on to work for a new home development company. And so while I'm familiar with the construction scene, I don't nearly have the know-how or the skills that Brandon has. So. I think we make a pretty good team here. We're really looking forward to this project and it's pretty exciting to be able to build our own home together. Hey, we just unloaded our ICF. Yep, yeah. manpower. Woo. These are so light. Look at this. Three blocks. I'm not actually that strong. We just unloaded in like 10 minutes a whole basement. Yeah. These are awesome. The people. Go to the people. Okay. Brandon's going to explain to us what ICF actually is. So what is ICF? This is ICF. This is a six inch core. This will get filled with concrete. Uh, once you pour it, they all lock together just like Lego blocks. Once you pour the concrete inside, you put rebar as well. It's a reinforced concrete slab with insulation built in. So really quick, you do five steps in one. Super efficient, super strong, lasts just about forever, airtight, bugs can't come in, doesn't rot, like it's incredible product and energy efficient. Uh, basically these just hook together, like I said, Lego blocks. You hook them all together, you do your windows, you pour with concrete, you're done, that's it. Insulated, strapped, strength, everything. It's all done one shot. Conventional basements are like plywood forms and you pour inside, then you take them off. Um, upper floors are two by six framing with insulation in between with like OSB sheeting on the outside. This is your strength and your insulation all in one shot and it stays. So a typical basement would be either block, which, which I don't believe in block because it's just not very strong uh, and prone to leaks and all kinds of other problems. Poured foundations are really good, super strong. They will last a really long time, but they're not insulated. So this is the best of both worlds. Super strong reinforced concrete, already insulated. And instead of taking all the time to set up forms, pour it and then take them off. You set these up, you pour, then you're done can parge right to the outside of it. It's just like you could stucco this, you can put siding on it, you can put brick on it, you can do anything you want. And for our house, we're going right to the roof. We're not gonna just do the basement, we're doing the whole thing. This ICF block is made by Nudura. It's my favorite because of the way it locks together and the, because there's no up or down, um, there's no left or right, and because for transportation purposes and for storage on your site, it just folds up. I really like this product personally, so I've used it many times. It's it's great. I've never had an issue with blowouts. I've never had an issue with blocks lifting. They hook together. Super, super labor um, friendly, I would say. Uh, doesn't take a lot of time to put together. All right, I think what we need to do first and foremost is, is figure out our straight line. Like, so that the house isn't like oriented like that. Right. Because if we start squaring it and then we're like, oh, hey, we're, we're not lined up maybe with the road or we're not straight with the property line, mm -hmm. um, we've got to redo it all. Yeah. So these should be our first two pegs. Got the Jackery powering our batteries. And uh, when it's sunny out, I put this up and put the solar panel up and recharge the Jackery. It's pretty awesome. It's much better than running the generator just to charge the batteries. That's good. Yeah, because we're low, like, these boards are a little lower anyway, so. Let's get another trick this one. That's perfect. Let's go a little wrong. Yeah, so, let's do our uh, measurement here. We'll double check this guy. This should be 51. One and a half inches.
doing? I am planning our future. <laughs> it's almost 11.30 at night. Well, no rest for the weekend. Someone's gonna do it. I think we're figuring it out. I think we're good. He's coming to bed. Whoa! <laughs> uh, what's, what's you wearing there, look? Not much. <laughs> Is that your birthday suit? I'm trying to get you to come to bed. Alright, I'm coming. <laughs> It is just pouring out here. How's the weather today? <laughs> a little wet. <laughs> it's like really rainy. <laughs> yeah, it got a lot worse. What'd you say? I said it got a lot worse than it was. Yeah, it's like so warm out though. Yeah. That it's not so bad. Just oh well. Except that you're gonna be wet. Yeah. What are we doing today, love? Ah, I am going to drink beer and watch everyone else work. Pouring puddings today. <laughs> it's our first, like, real getting something done here. Concrete on the ground. It's, 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 it's exciting. Long time coming. We got lots of help. We're all set, ready to go. We got concrete coming in like 20 minutes, so excited to get this done. Also, we have a Blake. Also, we have a Blake. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's explain our forms. Okay, so yeah, uh, here's the skinny on the forms. We've got uh, two by tens around our uh, frame. We're going for a 10 inch thick footing, which is because uh, the ground's a little bit wet and we are doing ICF all the way to the top. So by my math, there's gonna be about 200,000 pounds of concrete in the walls, not to mention anything else. So it's gonna be heavy building. So to make sure it doesn't sink, we have uh, nice thick wide footing. Uh, three courses of 15 mil rebar and then what we did was we added these um, We set these two by tens kind of close to where they should be and then we ripped these uh, Sheets of plywood these little strips of plywood use a laser on these So that we get a really perfect footing because if you're doing ICF if your footings off and it starts to go up and down Your blocks are all going to start to not fit together. It's going to be a nightmare So first thing make sure you got a really really good flat square footing and then everything else will go up real nice and save yourself a lot of grief. The concrete showed up so wet and the driver did apologize, but it was kind of hilarious how it was it was pouring out the back of the chute as he was backing into the driveway and Blake was scraping it off the road for us. We decided to continue anyways. It, it did end up putting too much pressure on the footings and one of the corners did blow out. It pulled four screws right out of the wood. So my good friend uh, Nick and I, we got some big clamps, put it back together. Meanwhile, uh, Blake, Karina and our good friend Robin, they continued to pour the rest of the footings as we fix this one corner. Okay, so it's the next day. The footings came out pretty good. We intentionally left rebar out of this corner so that we could use our own tractor to load clean stone to fill to the top of the footings. It ended up being three full dump truck loads to fill it. So here I'm uh, drilling holes to epoxy set the rebar into this corner. You can see some of the damage from dumping the clean stone on there. It won't affect the build. But then after this is in, we bring all our materials to the inside so that we have everything we need as our walls get taller and taller. What you find, Grace? Oh, don't hurt it. <laughs> oh.
Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope that you enjoyed it, and we hope that you'll follow along with the rest of our house build. And after that, we'll have tons of projects. So please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this kind of thing and following our journey. In the meantime, here's a little sneak peek of what you can expect in our next video. Stay tuned.